want the product anytime, they want it, they just want it to be available. Mm -hmm. But because there's equilibrium already in that market, in the market, there's equilibrium. Yes. The market is at equilibrium. That means there's a clearing, uh, there's a clearing price. The price at which both consumers and suppliers will agree to pay, mm -hmm. to buy and to sell. So in that clearing, in, in the, in the clear, with that clearing price, goods that are produced are assumed to be sold. So no goods will be left in that market because there's equilibrium, right? Yes. Now, firms would not be happy with equilibrium. They can't be happy because if they're happy with equilibrium, it means they don't want to maximize profit. But firms want to maximize profit. At the same time, consumers want to maximize satisfaction because they want to be rational. So this is what happens. As soon as they find out that the demand for their goods, as soon as firms find out that the demand for their goods increases, they will increase the price. At that point in time, there will be new equilibrium. The new equilibrium will be at, uh, there will be a new higher equilibrium. So that's why it's su supply would only increase if price has risen. Do you get it? Firms will not supply immediately when the demand for their goods increases. No. They want to see that the price changes immediately along with the demand of consumers. So if the demand increases and the price becomes inelastic, do you get it? Yeah. Firms will increase their price. At that point in time, we have a new equilibrium. Do you get it now? Yes. That's how it works. So a new equilibrium, not bringing it down. To no, the... a higher equilibrium. Uh -huh. So you have to start thinking about that high equilibrium because that is the only time when firms will be willing to supply more. Supply curve will shift rightward from S to S1. You get it? That's for supply. supply. Yeah, it's not going to affect demand. Mm -hmm. Demand. Demand is still there, mm -hmm. but we are talking about what will make firms to supply more in the market. Firms will not supply more in the market because demand is increasing. No, they will supply more in the market because the price of the product has increased. So the motive for supplying more is based on an increase in price, not an increase in demand. Mm. Yes. Uh, do you get the logic if there's now? There's an increased demand, they will increase the price. But uh, the supply, if the price increases, the supply increases. Yes. So that's what, the law of supply is the higher the price, the higher the quantity supplied. Not the higher the demand for the product, the higher the quantity su demand supplied. No. The higher the price, the higher the quantity supplied. So that means as soon as price changes, as soon as price increases, firms will be willing to supply more to the market because at that point in time, they'll be able to maximize revenue and profit. Because what about the Increase the demand increases, that means the price will fall. If demand increases, yes, or if supply increases, no, demand, the demand increases, it means they have to increase the price, right? Price will increase, yes, the supply would meet so, demand. So There's a new equilibrium. Demand has increased from D to D1, mm -hmm. price is still at P. For supply to increase from S to S1, price has to increase from P to P1, a new equilibrium price, higher price. The supply will shift rightward. Demand has increased from D to D1. Price must increase from so P to P1. So that's a change for both? Yeah, it will change. There, it's a market. Mm -hmm. The market has demand and supply. Yes. It's not one way. But this, they said there's a change in supply and change in demand. And then there's a change in both. So I did change in, there I did change the uh, supply and change in demand. Change in supply is this. As soon as Supply increases in the market. As soon as supply increases in the market, that means supply is more than demand. Yes. Firms would want to respond. There's a disequilibrium. Mm -hmm. When there's excess supply, it becomes disequilibrium. At that point in time, firms will have to reduce the price to, to go back to equilibrium. Same goes to excess demand. As soon as demand increases in the market, it becomes disequilibrium. So, for firms... When, demand, uh, when there's excess demand, mm -hmm. what can firms do? They have to increase the price to put it back at equilibrium. So whenever there's disequilibrium as a result of supply, it means that firms have, to, firms have to reduce their price. When there's disequilibrium as a result of excess demand, firms have to increase the price. That's how to solve equi disequilibrium. If there's excess supply, they have to increase. If there's excess supply, yes. they have to reduce the price uh, because excess supply is disequilibrium. If they have to, if there's excess demand, 
it is disequilibrium. Do you understand? So firms would have to increase the price to reduce yeah. demand. Is it clear now? Yes. So that is what you have to write now. There's changes in supply, there's changes in demand. Changes in supply can be an increase in supply or reduce, reduction in supply. 